Did you know that food waste can be used to combat climate change? Prior research has shown that food waste can be used to power renewable sources of energy. Hi, I'm Genevieve Ho and this is Emma Tan. We're from National Junior College, Singapore, and today we'll be talking to you about microbial fuel cells and using food waste as a sugar source in MSC. MSCs are a source of renewable energy that utilizes microorganisms as biocatalysts to feed on a variety of substrate to generate clean electricity. In a typical dual-chambered MFC cell as pictured here, the microorganism oxidizes the substrate, generating electrons and protons in the anaerobic anode chamber. The electrons are then transported to the electrode via a mediator and pass through an external circuit, generating an electrical current. Our project aims to find out if we could use food waste as a viable alternative to currently used substrates in MFCs, such as glue glue. We experimented using banana peel, the outer layer and the inner layer of the sugar cane. If these three substrates can be used in MFC successfully, we will be able to tackle both global problems of climate change and food waste, as well as find a way to recycle these types of food waste. We hypothesize that all types of food waste used during experimentation will show comparable fully performance to that of glucose. We constructed dual chambered MFC setups for all substrates tested, as well as for a glucose solution, which we use as a substrate for our control setup. We also perform quantitative Benedict's test an iodine test on all substrates tested. Our results show that banana peel had the highest voltage performance, followed by the outer layer and lastly the inner layer of the sugar cane. Both banana peel and outer layer of the sugar cane were shown to have a comparable voltage performance to that of glucose. Additionally, we found that there may be a correlation between the reducing sugar concentration of the substrate and the voltage performance of the MFC, as banana peel had the highest reducing sugar concentration, followed by the outer layer and lastly the inner layer of the sugar cane. In conclusion, both banana peel and the outer layer of the sugar cane were shown to be viable alternatives to currently used substrates in MFCs like glucose. We also found out that the reducing sugar concentration of a substrate may affect the voltage performance of the MFC. We hope you find our seed idea appealing. Thank, Thank you! you.